You don't understand what people do. Have you seen that picture of there's like a little baby on the floor? I'll post it. I'll post it. I will probably get blocked on here again if I put it on my story. But I know you guys have seen this picture. There's a picture of a baby. They got a picture of a bunch of kids tied to a wall. That's actually an auction. They're tied to a wall and they're hanging on the wall. That's another form of an auction. Some auctions are very pretty. Some, some you get to stand, some you got to be naked. I had some really weird auctions. Some you have, you, some, you're tied to a wall like produce or like retail. And basically like you're picking a t-shirt or you're picking clothes, buyers come through wherever you're at, wherever they put you. And they literally like, okay, there's a white kid, there's a black kid, there's an Indian kid, there's a girl, there's a guy. They check how big your dick is. They check how big, how much space your vagina has. They check your teeth. They check, um, they check your anal cav. They check everything. They have a taste. They walk into a room and they have basically like how you have, um, if you walk into a car lot and you're like, can I turn on the car? Can I sit in the car? Can I open the door? Can I, can I sit in the seat? That's literally what's going on in an auction for, they, children. for children, for children, for six year olds, for seven year olds, mm -hmm. they walk into an auction and they, they will, they will say like, I will buy for a test sample of two fingers. I will buy for a test sample of a full hand. And they literally get to walk up to a six year old and shove their hand up their cooch. That is what we're talking about. Um, you have people, there's a picture of a baby, like maybe five, six years old. It's a little baby boy. And he has a, uh, like a leash around his neck and they're walking him around and he's butt naked and he's on the floor. Okay. I know everybody has seen this picture before. The thing with that, that's also a test. They will, somebody will shit on the floor. Somebody will piss on the floor. A guy will come on the floor. A female will, um, masturbate and squirt on a floor and they will bring in a child to walk through that to play in it to lay in it to 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 put on their body to lick it to see if they can walk around and act like a dog to lick their shoe um to see how well their gag reflexes are it's a gag reflex check so if if, if they come in and they're feeling horny and somebody starts jacking off on the floor and they bring in a child, they're going to check for that child's gag reflex by putting them in the middle of that and seeing if they throw up. That's what we're talking about. You get me now? But you have attorneys that are going to be working right now trying to get Ghislaine off on technicalities. So keep all that shit in mind. They will, they will take bars. If, if say for us, they're saying like, I don't want to, I don't want to penetrate a child today. I just want to participate in this auction, right? They will have something there that looks like a broomstick with a dildo on the end. And they will walk a child around and they will make them lay on the floor and they will take that and stab them with it. Vaginally, anally, whatever. And they see what the gag reflex is. They see um, if they cry. They see if they don't have a reaction. They see how well the drugs are taking, what drugs they're on, if they'll cry, if they'll be loud, if they'll moan, if they'll whatever. For the teenagers, it's a whole different ballgame. The teenagers, they will see if their body naturally gets wet. And then it's their fault. If your body will automatically start to respond to what's going on if you don't you're a defect so ladies if you stay dry you're a defect then they really mess you up then that goes into bondage and torture fetishes then that goes into blood fetishes because if you're not if you're not ready and if, you, if, 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 if there's no way that they can just do whatever they want to do and just get it over with, then 
then they put stuff on dildos and then they make sure that when they rape a kid mm -hmm. and they're bleeding, then that takes more power because there's adrenochrome, there's power, there's control, there's uh, extra money because you're paying to get rough. There's so much shit that you guys are not realizing that what this life is. These are children. And after the auction, sometimes they don't even buy the kid. They just messed up. It's just a sample. So say Fords, they go into a room and they rape the hell out of a seven-year-old with the dildo stick and a machine and they turn the machine on and they say, oh, you know, she started bleeding. So now she's damaged. I don't want that one. Guess what? They don't. Now you're going to get beat by your pip because you started bleeding. You're going to get beat because you fucked up. And at first they were sampling you like they were going to buy you. And now they're not going to buy you. And then after that, uh, then you go back to wherever you got to wait until the next job, the next auction, the next whatever is going to be next. Now you got to go back to that. And now you got to deal with whatever they just did to you. So if you're bleeding, if they used... If they spit on you, if they use bottles, if they use alcohol, if they use something else that made you sick, now you got to go. There is no shower. There is no, I'm going to go pee. There is no, I'm just going to go wipe off. No, they don't work that way. You go back to wherever they were holding you. You sit there and you pray to God that you don't die. You don't get a disease. You don't get sick. You don't have an issue where you need help. You just got to do it. And if you die, they snap your neck if, if they have to, or they just go bury you somewhere and it's over. The baby farms, this happens on baby farms too. You do understand that, right? Where they're holding babies, newborn babies, fresh out of the hospital babies. There are people who have fetishes on hearing a baby's ribs crack as they have sex with them. There are people who have a sick fetish and taking enjoyment and feeling their dick hit somebody's ribs. Do you get me now? There's men and females who feel like their dildos and their strap-ons are real and they have enjoyment and hearing what it sounds like to break a child's ribs. You know that cracking sound of your knuckles? You know that sound? Yeah, it makes a crazy ass sound when you break somebody's ribs. It makes you breathe in too. It makes more pleasure for them when you breathe in. Ask me how I know. These are babies. There's baby farms. The hospital sells babies to these baby farms. They put them in the little, the little beds that you see when you know you go visit the baby right after they're born and you're like, oh my God, it's a girl. No, they go put them in these little things and then people go down there and poke at them. People go down there and stick their fingers in them. People go down there and open their diapers and lick them. You remember that picture of the Pope sucking on a baby's dick? Do you remember that? You think that was a joke? You remember the rabbi? And the baby is screaming its head off. You think that's only what they do? So there's people at a baby farm. There's nobody holding the baby and, oh my gosh, it's crying. And I'm just going to dress it and feed it and clothe it and give it a bath. No, they're experimenting and they're poking at them. And they're seeing which babies can take sexual trauma. That's what baby farms are. So you imagine looking at a newborn baby and then being in a room over and hearing it scream its head off when somebody's cracking its ribs. This is the war we're in. The fact that Ghislaine even has anybody willing to represent her is absurd and ridiculous. Eyes need to be looking on, on the attorneys. 
job or no job, would you do that morally? There's no justification for that. And some people are like, and especially this whole situation with, you know, this whole fuckhead Stephen Kelly. I had to kill someone to get out. I had to do what I had to do to get out. What would you do if you heard somebody in the next room over telling you, telling somebody else that, you know, when I go in this room, I'm going to have sex with them. And then after that, um, if they cry or if they fight me, I'm just going to slit their throat or break their neck. What would you do? If you're sitting behind that door and you're listening to that, what are you going to do? Because you know my attitude changed when I would hear somebody talk about me like that. I can't tell you how many times my pimp told me, you either get on that stage and do what I tell you to do, or I'll make sure that while they cut open your body, they'll use every open slot as a puppet. I'm like, got it. Machines, anyone? Machines? <laughs> on that note, well, when you put it like that, I'll get my ass on the stage. I can't tell you how many times somebody has told me if you if you fuck up on that stage, I promise you when you get off, you're gonna regret it. Like, all right, tell me what you want me to do. Cause I can't fight you. I'm not gonna win this fight. I've had five or six dudes, big ass dudes, on me holding me down, and I was still bucking some of them off. Because my pimp I talked back to my John, my order, not my pimp, my John. I was on an order with somebody and he was supposed to be able to do whatever he wanted to do. I wasn't having it one day. I just couldn't deal with it. I just couldn't deal with it. And on top of that, I was on my period. I'll never forget that shit. I was, I was, I was starting my period and I was like, I can't, I can't do this. He wanted to taste my blood clots. You want to, you want me to, you want me to make you sick? He wanted to taste my blood clots. He was telling me to push so that way he can taste my blood clots because he liked the way that it felt. I started fighting right away. I couldn't fucking deal. I was, I was like this. I, I can't, I can't like, I, I know he told me to, but I fucking cannot right now. Like I cannot. And the man was trying to put the blood clots on his dick. I, when I say there's some things that I just don't know how to even express or talk about, I can't. Okay. So that one day I lost my shit. I really lost my shit because he was trying to hold me down and he wouldn't stop. And I, I, I was trying to like figure out a way to deal with, I couldn't do it. So I fought him really bad. There was a lot of blood, but it wasn't mine. So my pimp came and him and about four of his friends that were there for other girls, they held me down and stabbed me with a needle and told me if I wasn't going to give blood, they'd make blood. But they were stabbing me somewhere else. So, I'm officially shaking. So we're done with this conversation. But yeah, sledding now. Um, so it's fine. I just I just need you guys to understand. <laughs> it's easy to say Ghislaine's on trial for trafficking and they trafficked and they had an island and yada yada but you need to know what exactly that means who that involves yeah uh, you need to be looking at who's yeah. helping who's defending her who's making life easy for her yeah. it's bullshit yeah um and you you need to wrap your head around the war that we're actually in yeah what they did 
It's fine. I'm not even upset. It's yeah. just, it's fine. I. What they did. It just, it, there's a lot. There's a lot. And I just, I, I think people really need to understand. I'm not even upset right now. I don't even know what the hell's wrong with my body. I'm shaking. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. 